By the end of this lesson, 4.2.315, you will be able to describe the mitochondrion and its role in aerobic respiration. Before we discuss more about the last two stages of aerobic respiration, you need to know more about the mitochondrion, uh, where these last two stages take place. Now, this diagram of a mitochondria is shown here, and the structure of the mitochondria is defined by an inner and an outer membrane. Find that on this diagram. Locate both the inner membrane and the outer membrane. This structure plays an important role in aerobic respiration. As you can see, the mitochondria has both the inner and the outer membrane. The space between these two membranes is called the intermembrane space, or the space between the membranes, the intermembrane space. The space enclosed by the inner membrane is called the matrix. So if you see what's inside the inner membrane, the innermost part of the mitochondria, that's called the matrix. And then the space between the inner membrane and the outer membrane is the intermembrane space. The second stage of cellular respiration, called the Krebs cycle, takes place in the matrix, which is inside the inner membrane. And then the third stage of cellular respiration, called the electron transport chain, that takes place on the inner membrane. In summary, the mitochondrion has two membranes. The second stage of respiration takes place in the matrix, which is the space inside the inner membrane, and the third stage of respiration takes place on the inner membrane.